Sam, and today I'll be reviewing the new Rail King MTH Legacy Station building with an X Trains billboard. Included in the box when you get it is the building itself, a billboard which is detached, you have to attach it separately, and it also comes with a couple of wires, a negative and a positive. These are for if you want to go ahead and wire it up right away, or you can use whatever wires you want. So this is a Rail King building, so there's not as much detail as, say, something like a Premier building or a Woodland Scenics building, but it still has some pretty cool features, so I'll go over this. Starting here in the front, you have the Legacy Station sign, which looks really nice. Then underneath that, you have the windows, which has a few trains in it on, sh on the shelves, and then you have a little door. Then right here, you have the walkway. Now, I'm not so sure how much I like this because if you're putting this on a layout with a lot of other buildings, it may not quite match them up unless you have other buildings in the Rail King line. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I'll try my best to disguise it in the layout. It's still, the front looks really cool. Moving above that, we have the Legacy Station symbol. We have two more floors with windows. They are illuminated when you power this thing up. Then up here you have the highlight of the building itself, which is the Eric's Trains billboard. It has the GE Evolution Hybrid on it, Eric's Trains, and it says now playing on YouTube. So you'll notice there are four holes on the top as well as a couple of other nice features. When you get it, the billboard will be packaged separately in a small bag. What you'll do is you'll align the four holes like that, and I'll just press down on it, and there it's in place. And it's just easily removable, you just have to do it the opposite way. like that. So now I can package it back up and send it to the new Here is one of the sides of the buildings. You can see it's very nice, but if you look closely you'll notice here there's an air conditioning and it also looks like what to be a bricked window right there. So it looks like there's all windows across the top except they bricked it up and put a air conditioning unit up there because they wanted to. By the way, the brick looks really nice. I like this blue brick. The back is also kinda cool. You have all windows but you have an emergency fire escape ladder so this does not come down uh, and I would not recommend trying it uh, there's, d there's no uh, obvious hinges there so I wouldn't recommend trying it, it's just there for looks but it does look really nice and then also on the back here you have a door which used to be like a garage door uh, and that's for when they get shipments of new trains Moving on to the last side, you can see it's a little bit odd in the way they did their windows. There are no brick windows on this side, there's only the one on the other side. But it still looks really nice. Okay, now let's go ahead and power it up. Okay, so I took this I CW80 and I took the wire that they provided and hooked it up and here it is all lit up. It is really cool. Now there's no inside, there's just lights. But it still does give the effect of people being in there. I think it's really cool. Here's this side. Here's the front and this side. And then here in the back we have some more lights as well. Even the garage door lights up. Now normally you would run the wires underneath the table and normally you would solder the wires to the building but for demonstration purposes I have not done that. So, when you when you see this on the layout, uh, you won't see any wires. Okay, let's take a look on the underside. So here, you can see a couple of the lights. Here is the positive and negative. Now when it comes, you won't have the positive and negative written in there, but just for anyone wondering, the negative's on the left side, the positive's on the right side. I just went ahead and wrote that down because I will be packing this back up and moving it to the new layout, which is coming up soon. Okay, so that's all for this review. It's kind of quick because there's not too many features on this besides the billboard, the lights, and the little trains inside. But it is still a very nice looking building and I cannot wait to add it to the city on my layout. You guys will be seeing that soon in my year compilation video. I'll put a small picture of that. I haven't actually shown it to you guys because I haven't had the time to make a video of it. But hopefully I can do that sometime in January. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm Sam and I'll see you next time.